Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to give our honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakak Kodash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. And peace and salutations to the elect of the of Israel. And to the speck of bread, Israelites that are scattered abroad. That look like the heathen nations to y'all. Say Shalom. Start off with the 144,000. Which will be all men. The ruling, governing body, and the kingdom of heaven. Then you got the rusty light, which will be some men as well, outside of the 144,000, which will be saved. And you got women and children that will be saved as well on this side. Two thirds of our people will be destroyed, and they will be they will come back to the kingdom. Um, also, I say the Israelites, who you call today, so called black, Hispanic, Native American, Puerto Rican, Dominican, Jamaican, Haitian, Guatemalan, the Panamanians. Uh, those are the Israelites, always have been and always will be. Um, current cherry to pop relief for that we are not Israelites. <clears throat> but this is your brother here. I'm Mike and catch on another video. Um I'm coming to a video from my eight time headlines. Um I haven't made a video in a couple days. I've been moving and doing a lot of stuff, uh, but that's no excuse. Um But yeah, I'm gonna try to do these every day, man. You know, we're in the last seconds. <coughs> you know, this is the most important thing, you know. Um over any anything you got going on, you know, but it reads, it says Illinois judge removes Trump from ballot because of insurrectionist ban. You see, because a lot of these Edomites, these so-called white people, you know, they, they support Trump because as Trump is very outspoken, he's very meticulous, he's very uh, courageous about when he speaks and when he says stuff. He's one of those people that have no filter. He don't care. You know? And, um, all this is being set up, man. It's set up to cause, you know, people to, to get upset. It's set up to have people fight against each other, which is going to happen, you know? It's going to happen. You know? Um, this man's kingdom is going down, you know? And he don't have a lot of time left. You know? But... His plans of what he wants to do, it ain't gonna work out what work out like he think it's gonna work out. You know? It, it ain't gonna go like that, man. You know? Um But I wanna start off with a uh, second edge just really quick. Fifteen and uh fourteen. And the reason says Woe to the world and to them at the world they're in, which means death and destruction. That's all that's coming, right? For the sword and the destruction draw off nigh. And one people shall stand up and fight against another. And with swords in their hands. So that's coming. You see that? Because of insurrection, man. That's coming. No matter if you ban Trump or not. That's going to make it come even faster. Or come even more. Because it's written. You know? These people are divided more than ever. So. And these people. A lot of these Edomites. They, they love Trump, man. You know? Because he's very. Because like I said. He's he's outspoken. He's, he, he's, he's going to say what he's going to say. You know, and, and no matter how much of of opposition he may seem like he is against his own government, come on, he's he's controlled. It's called control opposition, man. Because if he was really if he was really against the system, he wouldn't even be in the position he was in, in the first place. You don't get to a certain position in society without conforming in some type of way or compromising in some type of way. It don't work that easy. And he's he's an eating mic, you know. The elders and apostles of the Great Millstone, they always refer to this man as Nero. Hey, I could believe it. You know? I could I could definitely believe it, you know? This man, he has a lot of uh ways to get Jake, you know, he's very savvy in, in his in the moves that he makes. You know? I could believe it for sure. And I could believe that he might be the next so called president or people the, the person that these the elites they gonna pick to be. You know, because the presidents aren't elected, they're selected. <laughs> you know, <clears throat> but all this stuff is just to, it's, it's just really to make things worse, you know, it ain't going to get better, all right, but it's, it's, it's written, it says in verse 16, it says, for there should be sedition among men and invading one another, right, they shall not regard their kings nor princes, if you don't regard something, you don't pay no mind to it, you don't, you don't care about it, right, their kings nor princes, and Trump is a modern day king, you know, even though they're referred to as presidents, you know, 
It's talking about the rulers, the people that are in power. And the course of their actions shall stand in their power. You see that? So, you know, people ain't going to care. They're going to they gonna want answers. They're going to want to know why they was off there. They're going to fight. You know? That's all coming, man. And it also prophesies this in the book of uh, Isaiah 19. I believe it's Isaiah 19 and 19. Because the scriptures talk about this, this whole chapter. It's talking about our Lord Yahweh shall return to uh, ancient, well, not ancient, uh, but uh, spiritual Egypt, which is talking about America. He talks about him returning to America in a chariot, which is which is what Esau calls a so-called UFO. Uh, but this is Isaiah 19, verse 2. It says, And I will set the Egyptians, which the modern-day Egyptians are you Edomites, against the Egyptians, and, and they shall fight everyone against his, his brother, and everyone against his neighbor. So your people, person that you've been living to for 30 years, 20 years. You know, y'all might have went to each other's uh, cookouts. You know, y'all might have had gatherings and whatnot. But them days is, is over, man. You know, I was talking to um, a family member the other day about as far as he's a lot older. But I was talking about how the times, you know, were different versus when he was uh, growing up in. Whereas when, you know, I grew up, you know, people would say hey to each other. People would say, how are you? Dude, they don't do that now. You don't even, you don't know who you're living next to, you know? You think you're living next to, you think you're living next to somebody who's a good, so-called good person, but they really, they a child molester, they, they, they got probably dead bodies in their refrigerator and their basement, you don't know, you know? But it says city against city. A kingdom against kingdom, it says, and the spirit of Egypt, which is modern day America, shall fail in the midst of. And that's what's happening. It says, and I will destroy the council thereof, and they shall seek to the idols, and to the charmers, and to them that have familiar spirits, and to wizards. You see that? And the spirit of Egypt, the spirit of America is filling. You know, we're not in the time of America being in the golden age. We're not in the time to where people are looking up to America or. Or believe in everything that their government says. A lot of these Edomites, they're ready to rebel. I remember two years ago I made an article about that. I think it was like more than half of Americans were ready to overthrow their government. Or to take up arms against them. You know, these people are going, they're going to fight. These Edomites are going to fight to keep their kingdom. Especially for, you know, somebody like Trump. You know, who's, like I said, who's outspoken. Who's who's very pro his people. But at the same time, he acts like he's for our, us. He ain't for us either, you know. This, this man is not with you, Jakes. You know, if, if you claim you in this truth, you ain't supposed to be voting or, you know, taking part in politics. The, the, the Lord is who we, you know, look up to. The Lord's going to get us out of this mess. He's going to solve our problems, not not this devil. But the scriptures say, warrant to you that go to Egypt for help. You know, these devils are having problems in their own kingdom, but you, you think they're going to help you? Nope, don't work like that. What's that? Job 14 and uh, 4 or 5. It says, See, his days are determined, and the number of months are with thee, that has appointed his vows that he cannot pass. Right, this man, he's almost out of here, man. You know, we do not have too much longer at all. You know, I want to get this in the book of uh, Mark 3 and 25. This is another precept. Um, Mark 3, 26, it says, And if Satan rise up against himself and be divided, he cannot stand but hath an end. And we're at the end of this man's kingdom. You know? And then you got, you know, other situations, other problems going on at the same time. You know? It's nothing but, you know, madness that's getting ready to come. It's nothing but chaos, Jacob's trouble. You know? All that's getting ready to come. You know? In the coming days. It's not years and years from now, man. We're, we're here. You know, we're, we're in the end. You know, these devils want this stuff to happen. But if it's not going to play out in their favor. You know, it's going to get to the point to where they can't control it. You know, um, the scriptures tell you in the book of, I think it's Job. Is it Job 20 and 22? Yep, it says, in the fullness of its sufficiency. He should be in straits, and every hand of the wicked shall be upon him. You see that? The laborers, man, the people. You see that? When this man gets to a certain point to where he think he get ready to, you know, put that uh, cherry on top, that's when it's going, that's when the Lord's going to uh, extend his hand to his elect. 
you know, in the midst of all this chaos, you know, Esau putting a lot of Jakes to death, but the leg is going to rise up, you know, and Esau, they're going to get, they get their lick back on a lot, they're going to get their lick on a lot of Jakes, man, that's why we hope we, we part of the elect, man, when these times come, man, you know, we know that ain't nothing good coming from all this stuff, there might not even be an election this year, you know, but we'll see, man, you know, I just want to do a quick video, you know, on uh, the times to come, you know, um, uh, Lord willing, this video was edifying. I want to give our honor and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Kakwadash. Double honor to the elders of the Apostle Great Millstone. Until next time, I want to say Shalom, Wadabababah, Shalom.